Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tyler and today we are going to be making a rock garden that is very inspired. I start by using the path tool to pave where I want the rocks to go. Then what we have to do is fill any empty spaces on the island with mannequins. This will stop the rocks from spawning somewhere else. It's a bit of a tedious process and it does get a lot easier after you have been playing for a while and most of your island is filled with items. The next step is just to destroy all the rocks on your island. You do this by just eating a piece of fruit and then you can hit it with a shovel or an axe. Make sure to fill the area where the rock was with mannequins so that way we can stop it from spawning there again. You can see by this point I've pretty much filled my whole island with mannequins. So all we need to do now is finish destroying all the rocks and then we can time travel to the next day. I wasn't a big fan of my old rock garden. It was taking up too much space by the river and really limited what I could do with the waterscaping. So I decided to make a circle one instead and see how that turns out. Something to keep note of is that sometimes rocks can spawn in the middle of flowers if you have one empty spot. So it's always good to put something there instead, even if it's just putting a path down. Every time I accidentally go the wrong way because I forget it's filled with mannequins. As you can see, we have completed this correct, so our first rock is finally in the rock garden. And we just complete this process a few times destroying the rocks and time traveling to the following day. Here I just time travel quite a few days so we can see if all of the rocks have spawned into the garden. As you can see, there is one spot without a rock, which means that we have missed somewhere in placing enough mannequins and a rock has spawned somewhere else on the island. This took me quite a long time to find out where the rock had actually spawned. It ended up being on the right side of the island. So once I have found this, we can just destroy it and complete this process again. And we have finally finished our circular rock garden. So all that's left to do is just decorate around it and finish it off. 
You may be wondering why we used mannequins and not any other piece of furniture. The reason is, is if you actually edit the design on the mannequin, all of them will disappear. This is going to save us so much time instead of picking them all up individually. While you don't have to time travel to complete this process, it does take quite a while if you decide not to time travel, just as you have to wait every single day to see if a rock has appeared, so it can take upwards of a week. I do use quite a few items in this process, such as the mushroom table and the matching stools. I ended up extending the hedges from the statue garden as well, just to kind of separate the two areas. I only use three different colors of flowers, which is the green, purple, and pink mums, because I feel like they work pretty well together. I do use quite a few mush lamps as well, just because we can customize them to be all different colors, and it's going to add a lot of color to the garden. These butterflies are the butterfly models you can get from Flick. All that you have to do is get three of the same butterfly and give them to Flick. I would have liked to include some custom designed flowers. I believe it would give it a bit more variety, but unfortunately I'm out of design slots at the moment. Instead we just use a few leaves and some rocks just because I already use them elsewhere on my island. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this rock garden turned out. If any of you have any feedback or any videos that you would like to see me do, feel free to leave a comment below. If you do like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to help this channel grow. I do also stream three days a week on Twitch, Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. If you'd be interested in checking that out, the link will be in the description below. If you are still here, 
thank you so much for watching till the end of the video and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time.